Over one year ago, the Republic of Stratum, despite the bravery of our people, faced immense destruction as a result of nuclear annihilation. Since that time, mass famine, thirst, poverty, and crime have been reported across the nation. To make matters worse, the armed forces of Stratton have been disorganized as a result of a breakdown of prior institutions, which has made efforts to retain order difficult. That is why, one week ago today, the Stratish Preservation Act was signed into a law. What does this act do? The Stratish Preservation Act is the reorganization of the Stratish government to better adapt to the new difficulties found in this new world. The Republic of Stratton Army, Navy, Air Force, and Emergency Services now fall under the direct jurisdiction of the Department of Preservation, which has also replaced the Department of Defense and other smaller governmental departments in order to limit bureaucracy. The Act has also suspended Congress indefinitely and has removed presidential term limits as to speed up the legislative process and better adapt to the rapidly changing situation. The goals of the Department of Preservation are as follows. 1. Secure any and all pre-war military installations. 2. Secure any and all federal assets. 3. Destroy any and all threats to the Republic of Stratton and her people. 4. Relieve the civilian population as quickly and effectively as possible. Due to the ongoing nuclear winter, surface operations are to only be conducted with the presence of Stratish Marines and Special Operations Units as to ensure survivability of surface assets. The National Weather Service predict that the current winter will last for an additional five years. Once the winter has ended, more extensive surface operations will be conducted. The current goal is for all of Stratton to be reclaimed by the mid-1990s, however this will be a long process and will require full cooperation from all government, military, and civilian assets. The reconstruction of our great nation has begun. The Republic of Stratton shall not go quietly into the night. Let us strive towards peace.